Hello everyone, DCB here, and welcome to another Gunpla build. In this one, I am building the Unicorn Gundam Zero 2 Banshee Norn, the full cycle frame proactive mobile suit RX0 brackets N from Mobile Suit Gundam um, Unicorn. This is a real grade model, a 1144 scale. I'll be building this in a time lapse format, giving you the lore of the unit. I will be cutting it out of the sprues off screen and also putting the stickers on off screen. I'm going to be keeping it in its uh, unicorn mode uh, for the video, just so you can see that. And I may, in a separate video, do the transformation sequence. Anyway, for, let's begin with some of the lore about the Unicorn Gundam Zero Two Banshee Norn and its pilot. I hope that you enjoy. RX-0 brackets N Unicorn Banshee Zero Two Banshee Norn. Technical specifications: It is a prototype full cycle frame mobile suit. Model number being RX-0 brackets N. Official name, Unicorn Gundam 02 Banshee Norn. The overall height in Unicorn mode is 19.7 meters. That's 64.633 feet. That's 775.91 inches. Remember, that is Unicorn mode. In Destroyer mode, it goes to... 21.7 meters that's 71.194 feet or 854.331 inches and that is destroyer mode it has a full weight of 80 sorry of 48.8 tons it's powered by a Minoski ultra compact a fusion reactor a generator output of 4520 uh, kilowatts, that's uh, 6,061.419 horsepower. The armor is made of Gundanium alloy, giving a total thrust of 18,000, no, yeah, 185,380 kilograms. That's a lot. Uh, effective sensor radius of 28,600 meters. Uh, the crew pilot only in panoramic motor for slash linear seat cockpit, which is in the chest. Uh, manufacturer was Azam Electronics, Augusta New Type Lab. It was developed from the RX Zero Unicorn Gundam Zero Two Banshee. It was first deployed in 0096 of the Universal Century. Operator is Vist Fountain. And the pilot is Riddle Marquis. Uh, equipment as standard is a NT-D system and armoured armour XC. Standard arrangements are two 60mm Vulcan guns, a four bean sabres, two in the forearms and two in the backpack, which are only usable in destroyer mode. Uh, two beam tof tonfers has a handheld uh, beam minigun, revolving launcher, beam jettle, bop missile, maglip, macro hide bomb, arm armor DE, an eye field generator, and a macro cannon. That's a lot of handheld armaments. Uh, real world information was in the TV series Mobile Suit Gundam Unicorn Century RE0096. Uh, the movie Mobile Suit Gundam Universal Century A Phantom World and Mobile Suit Gundam Universal Century Neon Zog Strikes Obiata. Uh, the OVA is Mobile Suit Gundam Unico Universal Century Episode 6 to 7 and the mechanical designer Himia Keo. Yes, I probably pronounced that uh, wrong. A bit more of the lore of the Unicorn. Uh, the RX-0N uh, Unicorn Gundam 02 Banshee Norn, also known as the Banshee Norn, which I'll say from now on, is an upgrade variant of the original Banshee that appears in the OVA version of Mobile Suit Gundam Unicorn. The unit is powered by Rhea Messias. <coughs> Technologies and close and, ca and combat characteristics. 
the Banshee Non is upgraded version of the Banshee, with improved performance aside to Leo Bell, pilot Real Marcus. The unit itself uh, remains unchanged from the upgrade, with only the Armed Armors BS and VM replaced by two new equipment, the Arm Armored DE and Arm Armored XC. The Banshee Norn's primary range weapon is the Beam Magnum, uh, but with a new attachment, the Revolving Launcher. In Destroyer mode, the Arm Armor XE opens and rotates up, giving the Banshee Norn a lion-like look. Armaments The 16mm Vulcan gun, a basic armament found on many Federation mobile suits. While essentially ineffective against mobile suit armor, they are useful in intercepting incoming missiles, rockets, destroying mobile suit sensors and engaging lightly armored vehicles. The Beam Magnum, a highly customized beam rifle designed with an energy condenser. A single shot from the Beam Magnum is equal in power to four normal beam rifle shots, but it uses up an entire E-Pack. Each of these Beam Magnum's magazines is loaded with five E-Packs, allowing a total of five shots before a new magazine is needed. The Banshee Norm can carry spare magazines on the rear shirt skirt armor. The revolving launcher, a new attachment added to the Banshee Norn's beam magnum, is a in a mag, mag, uh, representative of the um, RX-78-2 Gundam's Super Napalm. Each barrel of the launcher houses a different weapon. A spare launcher can be st stored on the rear skirt. Beam Julia. Stored in the revolver launcher, it is a short beam saber designed to catch enemy beam sabers, allowing the pilot to quickly counter when there is no time to draw out his main beam saber, or when the Banshee Norn is in a tight situation when it's lost its beam sabers. Uh, Remzev, who sent of the beam jetless function of the beam rifles used by other Gundams. The BOP missile, a set of four small missiles fired from the revolver launcher. The MGA AP armor pinning shells that release a blinding flash upon explosion. A set of four shells are fired from the revolver launcher and together they can destroy a mobile shoot shield. The macro hide bomb, uh, numerous small bombs stored in a bomb case fired from the revolving launcher. The case breaks apart soon after launch releasing the bombs that will float towards the target and explode upon impact. The Beam Saber The Banshee Norn is equipped with four Beam Sabers, two on the forearms and two in the Arm Armoured XC. In Unicorn mode, the mobile suit only has access to the two forearm mounted Beam Sabers. In Destroyer mode, the Banshee then has access to the two other Beam Sabers in the Arm Armoured XC, allowing it to access all four Sabers. Beam Tolfers. The four mounted beam sabers can flip over and can be used directly. In this form, they are known as beam Tolfers. The Arm Armor DX. The Arm Armor DX, Defense Acceleration is what the DE stands for, is the normal eye field equipped shields used by the Banshee, with additional parts containing more psycho frame. Six thrusters, four on top and two at the bottom, and a mega cannon. The Mega Cannon provides the Banshee Norm with another ranged weapon, while the Thrust Giants, the suit capable to a base jubler with the Arm Armored DX is mounted on the Arm Armored XC, it can also be used with the, as a makeshift melee weapon with significant reach. The special uh, equipment and features is the new type destroyer system and the Arm Armored XC, XC standing for Z Xeno Contact is a add-on backpack that improves the affinity between pilot and machine, allowing a non-new type pilot to achieve the NTD system. It also enhances overall general output. The Banshee Norn's backpack beam sabers are stored in the R Armored XC. History Note, much of the Unicorn Gundam Banshee's Norn's history um, is 
linked in with Riddle Marcus's history, which we'll go into now. Riddle Marcus. As I said, Aeus, he's known as Romeo Double Eight. He is human. He is a new type, a hair color of blonde, eyes blue, age of 23, birth date of 0073 in the universal century, status alive, gender male. Uh, he is from the Earth Federation, which he's affiliated with, as well as Lava Bell and Romeo Squadron. Occupation of Lono Bell Mobile Suit Pilot. ID number NA-R008, as well as a private secretary. He held the rank of Ensign. Now, Riddle Marcus is a pilot of the Un Lono Bell unit from Mobile Suit Gundam Unicorn, light novel OVA series, as well as the uh, new animated OVAs. Personality and character. Overall, Riddle is a loyal, well-spoken, and fearless soldier. Despite this, his lavish and isolated upbringings have sheltered Riddle's view on the world. Though he is the heir to the influential Marcus family, he enlisted in Lalo Bell to escape his family, that he is uncomfortable talking about. He believes that the Earth Federation, even when there was corruption, would eventually do the right thing. Riddle is also a believer in luck. For that reason, whenever he goes out into combat, he wears a bracelet with a multiple miniature biplane attached, which he calls his good luck charm. However, his views eventually change, and he is willing to disobey the rules in favour of doing what is right. After being told the truth about uh, Laplace's box and his own family, Riddle became determined to protect the current world order and the billions of lives that reside within it, even though it was flawed. Things would drastically change when Riddle fell in love with Princess Marvello Zabi and learned of his family's legacy in relation to the Laplace box. Despite knowing the true nature of the Laplace box, Riddle still wanted to preserve the current twisted world, order for the sake of peace. However, his beliefs clashed with the princess, and despite his constant efforts to protect her, she always turned him away for Banaja Lynx. His recent series of failures and rejections from Minerva caused him to have a grown hatred for new types. Gundams, his misfortune, his inherent legacies, and a bit especially Benaja. Erotically, Riddle himself a, is a Gundam pilot and a new type, being manipulated by his own rage. Odo Viz gave Riddle the Banshee Gundam to prevent the opening of the plus box. However, after he killed Minerva Cruz in combat, her spirit calmed his anger and he realised the depth of his errors and decided to side with Benaja and his small and his groups in hopes of a better future. Skills and Abilities Riddle is shown to be a skilled mobile suit pilot on multiple occasions. Furthermore, Nigel Glitt, the leader of Rakam TriStar team, stated that Riddle is a capable pilot. As a Federation soldier, it can be assumed that Riddle is trained in the use of firearms and hand-to-hand -hand combat. History Saving Citizens During a battle at Adam Electronics Industrial 7 Space Colony, the colony was attacked by both Lalo Bell and the Neon Zeon remnants known as the Sleeves, with both parties aiming to claim a mysterious item known as Laplace Box. More specifically, the key to the box which resides within a mobile suit. Eventually, Riddle launches from the Noel Hour in his RGX-93 Brazil and found a trio of teenage citizens, including an incognito Malazabi, and rescued them, escorting them to 
the Nafar Amara aboard a shuttle. Later, he picked up a mysterious single horned unit, after it transformed into a Gundam and engaged the sleeves larger mobile suit. Once the Nara Ama was far away from Industrial 7, Rida was among the Vizi on patrol. His squadron leader, Commander Mom Bark, reminded him that it is not luck that keeps him alive. Remu's squadron then spotted an incoming vessel. At first they believed it to be an enemy, only to discover it was a derelict ship, Samarasi class, moving on its own backup power system. Romeo's squadron was recalled to the naval armada, upon which Riddle disembarked. He then spotted one of the civilians he rescued, Alju Blaine, who was acting Ensign Mikro Okron about who was piloting the Gundam. Riddle offered to show her a good spot to observe the Gundam. Though Miro tried to discard Riddle, he assured her that it would be fine. Just then, another civilian, Tikla Ea, popped up, exclaiming his knowledge of how the Neural Armada was the mother ship of the Gundam team during the First Neo Zeon War, and was now carrying the new one. Mura offered to come along too, stating that if the Gundam didn't show up when it did, she and Riddle would not be having this discussion. She in particular wanted to meet up with the pilot who saved their lives. When observing the Unicorn Gundam, Riddle recognised something familiar about Audrey, which made her apprehensive. He noted that she looked like Name Swerson, a famous actress, to which Audrey stated that she doesn't know much about the entertainment industry. Sasaki then drew Riddle's attention as the naval armada technical facilities opened the hatch, revealing his friend Benaja Lynx inside. Uh, that's a bit of history about Riddle Marcus. He's got not a lot of information from the Gundam Wiki, unfortunately, which is a shame. Uh, but later in the Unicorn Gundam series, he basically was chosen to pilot the uh, Black Unicorn, also known as the Banshee. And later that got upgraded to the Banshee uh, Norn. And uh, he, he also found out that he was a new type, which he originally had discussed for. But yeah, that's a bit of the history of uh, Vidomarcus, the uh, Banshee Norn itself. Now let's uh, finish this off.
And there it is, all built and transferred up the Gundam Banshee uh, from Gundam Unicorn, also known as Gundam Banshee uh, Unicorn More. Has the massive shield on it, it's a little backpack, and is in Unicorn uh, mode at the moment. See all the transfers have been applied to every aspect of the model. I'm going to keep it in uh, Unicorn mode. I may do a video at some point in the future when I turn it into a, its destroyer mode, which involves a lot of uh, fiddly stuff. But I hope that you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to comment the video, like and subscribe if you're enjoying the content. Watch any of the videos you like. And until next one, this is DCB. Knowledge is power if we use it wisely.